All right, welcome everybody. Today's video finds us up here just north of Donmung Airport near Rangsit. We're at the uh, National Memorial. And what it is, is it's a museum that's dedicated to Thai history and more importantly to the Thai military history and what they've done over the years. And this is kind of a symbol of pride for the Thais and it's kind of a, like a deal to show their uh, national unity and how they've uh, you know, overcame obstacles to stay as a country, all the way back to uh, King Ramkumhang, um, like uh, Taksin, all of the, uh, the former kings and what they've done to keep Thailand together. And it's kind of cool. There's uh, like tanks and airplanes and armored personnel carriers and boats and stuff like that out here on the uh, grounds. And then it has the massive building that you can see right behind me there. And that's where all the displays are. So we're gonna go inside. Now it's free to get in. And they say that there is, you're supposed to like register, but we'll see if we're gonna have any issues like that. We didn't register, we just showed up here to do a walk-in. And we didn't wanna do anything outside today because it's kind of rainy and miserable. So this is something to do. So let's go see what we see. So out here on the grounds, they just have, you know, these displays of stuff like this. So they got like an old, uh, like an old towed anti-aircraft gun. Here's a plane, looks like a personnel carrier. And these datas are, data plates are in Thai. So this was a landing vehicle track. That's, it does say that in English. So this would have been amphibious, it looks like. They actually have a pretty good sized little pond here with one of the Navy uh, patrol boats. And then you can see up to the building. It is pretty big. And you can see it from quite a ways away when you're uh, coming along the road up here. You can see that, uh, that gold top sticking up. And a little bit more of the old equipment they got out here. An artillery piece, an old plane, and an armored personnel carrier. Yeah, there's just a bunch of this stuff kind of strung out everywhere for the kids to go and look at. This is cool. They got an old like uh, M41 tank. This brings back some memories. This is so old school though. I walked around and looked at this. Like uh, where the driver's at. Now I was on an M1 tank. So the driver wasn't off to the side. He was right here in the middle. And then there's like a little port there for one of the machine guns. And his gun is so small. Is, uh, I was looking at the end here and it was rem reminiscing of how we used to clean it. You actually lower the gun all the way down and then uh, four guys take a long, like a long pipe, long pole, and you, uh, you have like a wire brush on it and you stick it up in the gun barrel and you just uh, pull it back and forth and you uh, swab out the, the gun to clean all the corrosion and get all the spent powder and everything out of it. And uh, brake and track, all the good stuff. So this is cool. So anyway, this is the front of the museum. So we walked around, looked at some of the equipment, and now we'll go in there and we'll look around. Okay, after you come in, you register down below. It's free to come in. So you just come in and uh, then you come up to the second floor and they'll have a statue here of uh, King Rama V. And they, uh, the lady at the front, she said that it's uh, the best way to view this museum is to go all the way up to the top floor and then come down. So we'll, uh, we'll walk up there and we'll start our little uh, tour. Okay, so it starts up at the very top and they're talking that they have a room up here that's the, uh, the land before Thai, so which is kind of like the Suko Thai era. They have a little monument there to uh, King Ram Kim Hang. And the Suko Thai was like the uh, the era of happiness or uh, the dawn of happiness, I think is what it is. And uh, King Ram Kim Hang was famous in Thailand for uh, inventing the Thai alphabet, they say. And there's a nice deal up if you go to the Ram or the Suko Thai uh, National Park up in Suko Thai. They have a nice little thing for uh, King Ram Kim Hang up there. And they have a little video you can watch. And then they have some paintings and stuff on the wall. There's a little bit of data plates here talking about Ayutthaya, Queen Syriotai. And they have a little 
statue here talking about how she uh, sacrificed herself to uh, save the king back in the first Burmese invasion. It talks about how there's a like a chetty built to her now. And there's a little bit in English. Kind of given like a, a world timeline. Okay, so the top floor talks a little bit about Ayutthaya and uh, Sukhothai. Then you have to come down and then down here, the third floor, they have uh, King Narasawan stuff. And he's uh, really a famous uh, Thai king. He had the elephant battle with the Burmese leader and all of that. So it had like a little automatic door that opens up whenever it sees you and then it almost closed. So here's this big room and it talks about uh, the war elephants. King Narasawan is really famous for uh, luring the Burmese commander out and uh, fighting him in a duel. King Narasawan was actually uh, taken as a hostage by the Burmese and uh, he was kind of trained in the art of war in Burma and then uh, he became a military commander. And the Burmese were suspicious of him because they knew that he was uh, very skilled so they were going to betray him and have him killed and he ended up declaring independence for Thailand from Burma. And then later on the Burmese came and he fought the elephant duel and uh, won the day. So he's one of the famous Thai kings and some of the little videos and stuff that you can see. Okay, so they had like a little VR thing, but there was only one working and there was a couple little kids uh, playing with it. So here they have uh, some of the Thai soldiers. They have the little mock-up of the thing that would go on top of the war elephant. Not a whole lot to see here on this level. And a little bit more of the uh, world timeline that they have with some more of their little movies. Talking about Ayutthaya. So they're calling this room here the last chapter of glory, the sudden fall of Ayutthaya. So the third floor was about King Narai, King uh, Narai the Great as the Thais call him. Down here on the second floor. I think this will have a lot more to do with uh, King Taxon. We got kind of a uh, dramatic little movie doing some uh, fighting. So they had the uh, movie playing the old famous uh, Thai song about Taxon. And they have uh, like a big room here with a map and stuff. Okay, so you go through the Taxon information and they go over here to the uh, Bangkok era they got a little bit of stuff it's kind of interesting enough they got like the interactive uh, little displays so you can read about it in English or in Thai kind of fun for the kids like stuff like this will be interactive and it, you can scroll through some uh, different menus and read a little bit about what's going on. Okay, that was actually kind of a fun room. They had a little interactive display where you could uh, fight the battle of the uh, nine armies. And right over here, they're talking about Lady Mo that was instrumental in stopping a, uh, like, like a secession or a bit of independence for people around Mekong Ratchasama or Kolat. And from there, we go into the, uh, the Bangkok era. I think this is pretty cool. This is talking about the little red purses. So Rama III, I believe, is who uh, had this practice. But anyway, he would uh, keep some of the uh, money saved up, and they actually had gold uh, Mexican pesos, and it was like an emergency fund. So whenever they would uh, collect money from trade or whatever, they would uh, he would keep them in like little red sacks, and that was uh, for crisis or whatever. So they had the little red purse. Kind of a cool little room here. And then some of the uniforms. 
creativity is another sign of wealth. Okay, so then we're going to go into the modern era of Thailand. All right, so now we're going to go down to the bottom floor. So the salute to heroes, the other war, and all of the hats. This building is just massive. So we have some more of the timeline, talking about the first light bulb, the first subway in London in 1863, the combustion engine, the Eiffel Tower, quite a bit of stuff on the walls. 1910, the first uh, passenger airship. So here they're gonna talk about some of the uh, Thai involvement in World War I, World War II, various conflicts, Korea, Vietnam. And then they have a uh, timeline here. Now I read about online that the uniforms are not accurate, but I don't know what they, uh, what they were wearing. I do like this. This has got some of the old, uh, the colors of the Thai forces that went to serve in, in World War I. I really like that. I have a guide on from when I was in the army, and this would have been flying on the little flags the, of the troops. And then over here, these are the old flags of Thailand. So they used to have the elephant, and this was still when it was Siam, and they had a red stripe in the middle, and this is the modern flag. So in this room, they're talking uh, mini hats. So they're saying that no matter what hat you wear in Thailand, you're a, you're a fighter and you're important. So they have all these giant hats hanging from the ceiling and then they show different stuff inside of them. So they have little movies going on and you can see like here, this is the Battle of Koh Chang against the French. And you just stand underneath the hat and it shows you like a little movie. And then they talk about the, the French incident, 1893 as they call it. And you see some more of this over by Chantaburi. And then they talk about the Battle of Koh Chang they have some of the uniforms, some of the stuff. And then they talk about the Japanese involvement during World War II. Then they have another movie up underneath here. Yeah, this is gigantic. This building is so massive. This is pretty interesting here. They talk about the Siri Tai which was like the uh, insurgents to fight against the Japanese during World War II. And they say it eventually got up to 45,000 people that were trying to uh, restore Thai sovereignty from the Japanese. And they say that was pretty instrumental in uh, keeping it from where there wasn't a, like a military tribunal at the end of the war. And they allowed Thailand to remain independent. And we got some stuff on Korea. So there were 128 Thais that died in Korea and 318 that were wounded and five that were MIA. And they say here that they fought on the Battle of Porkchop Hill, T-Bone Heights, and Kumwa. And uh, Americans nicknamed them the Little Tigers. And they gave them 39 medals. And then we go into uh, Vietnam. Have some more of the uniforms, some old M16s, some M1s, M14. There's no M1 over there, that's it. Well, unless that's the one laying down. And here they talk about the involvement in Vietnam. So they sent 2,000 troops into Vietnam and they served for 67 to 1968. And then they talk over here about uh, the Chinese insurgents that were in Thailand from 1965 up until the 80s. This room here is pretty interesting. This is uh, dedicated to Rama 9. And what they've done in this room is, you see all these little uh, cubes? 
What this is, is this is dirt from all around Thailand. So they took the mud, they put them in these little blocks, and it's each province of Thailand that's in here. And they say that Rama 9 was like the king of the earth, and uh, he was kind of the, the cement to uh, keep the country together, I guess you could say. Pretty interesting. So every Thai is a fighter. They have some more stuff dedicated to some of the famous Thai people. And outside of that big room, they have some more stuff dedicated to the expeditionary force that went and served in uh, World War I. Now, I've seen this, uh, the monument to the expeditionary force. This is over by the Grand Palace. And I'm not sure where this lotus-shaped one is at. I would actually like to see that. That looks kind of cool. And then they have some more of the, the data placards here. This is all in Thai. And then just another big room here. And they have the elevators that can take you up to the uh, fourth floor. And here they have a big room with some of the old artillery pieces or anti-aircraft guns. That looks like a machine gun. And a towed cannon. They got some mortars, other kind of stuff over there. Now this is kind of cool. They have what looks like bullet holes. And they have a display room here where you can look in and you can see a bunch of the different weapons all the way from the uh, like the sabers that the, art, the officers would carry to uh, like little bazookas, machine guns. Yeah, here's a mortar and that's the mortar tube and they have like a like an old mine. All kinds of stuff. This is kind of where you come back into the start. This building is just gigantic. So over here they have like a coffee shop and like a little bookstore, souvenir shop, and then they have a bunch of the Thai uniforms that you can uh, read about. And all the data plates there are in Thai, so it's, uh, you're not gonna get a lot out of that. This display case is really cool. It has some of the old helmets. I really like this one. It looks kind of like, uh, like a centurion helmet to a degree, but what's cool, it has like the uh, elephant stamped into it. And then they have a couple more of the helmets. And then they have this one here that has the Garuda on the top. This whole section just shows some of the old uniforms from uh, various positions over the years. And then they have a timeline of the various things that happened in Thailand with some of the important people, some of the pictures. I always like looking at old pictures of uh, stuff. You can kind of see how the people lived. And then some of the badges and stuff they put on their uniform. All right, guys. So that finishes up a quick little tour of the National Memorial, which it's a museum, but it doesn't sound like it in the title. So it's a museum basically to Thai history and Thai military history. So it was interesting. There was uh, quite a bit of English in there and you can kind of get a feel of uh, what the Thais are promoting. You know, there's a lot of patriotism and national pride in there. As you can see by the displays, they're always talking about, you know, like every Thai is a fighter and all of that. So anyway, it was, it was worth uh, the price of admission, which was free. And if you're uh, looking for something to do that's different from like the temples or, you know, down on the downtown Bangkok where it's busy, come up here, it's just north of Don Mung Airport. And uh, it's worth a look. You can spend a couple hours up here and there's quite a bit in English, so uh, you can read a little bit and learn a little bit of uh, Thai history and all of that. So anyway, if you like the video, make sure you click like. It just takes a second. Smash the like button. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. This is the kind of videos I do. I just show you things that I see. And uh, the subscriptions let you uh, be notified when I post new content. And share it with your friends if you'd like on your social media. And that helps me get my channel uh, promoted and it helps it grow. And that way I can make more content. So anyway, guys, from up here, north of Don Mung Airport, near Rangsit, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy.